Skiing is fast becoming the most popular of all winter sports. This is insane, you guys. Yo, this is sexy, man. (laughs) Broadcasting live from the internet, it's Tuesday night, and this is the PanelsOnPages.com podcast with your host, Lee Rodriguez. At the end of the day, babies are terrible people, and I'm not sorry for saying it. Jason Nyes. Motherfucker, I won best costume. Jose Guzman. Yeah, I know nothing about Firestorm, except for his hat's always burning. And Kelly Harris. Boy, love, it appears we got a penis in the mail. (laughs) I glued my fucking eyes shut! (laughs) I just want to see all these Yelp reviews of Jose's jizz. (laughs) Oh, sorry, I knocked you over the salt. Like you had anything better to do. What is happening, everybody? Uh, today is Tuesday, March 5th, 2019. Not that you'd fucking know it, because it was 18 degrees outside this morning. <laughs> That's some bullshit. And this is episode number 459 of the panels on pages.com podcast. I'm your host, the Lord Reverend Lee Rodriguez, and joining me tonight, we got Mr. Jason Nyes. The 90s were lit, y'all. Jose Guzman. Do we do? 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 And Kelly Harris. I'm putting batteries in Darkseid's face. Oh, wow. All right. All right. It's timeline. Like those little lithium batteries? Yeah. Oh, shit. His eyes glow red now. Nice. Nice. The Superpowers version just had a little clear strip at the top of his head where light piped in i was fucking around with some old megazords we brought down the big uh shuriken sentai ninja figures and the problem with those that they have those little shuriken guys that make all the sounds but they don't have an on off switch on them <laughs> so they just drain you know the batteries just drain so and they take those little uh, lr55 batteries so Jack's all excited because he fucking loves those damn things. He hits the button and he goes, "Hits the button, just hit the button, hit the button." Just... Why the batteries always die? <laughs> <laughs> like, I know, man. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But luckily, I got some more. It's gonna be cool. So yeah, we're uh, uh, having a bit of a challenge with the Wee Man. Uh, he kind of flipped his shit uh, Sunday. Because we weren't moving fast enough to turn the TV on. He's watching this fucking Super Monsters show on Netflix. Which was created by Avi Arad. <laughs> Oscar winner Avi Arad. Oscar winner oh. Avi Arad created this show called Super Monsters. And it's a world who, whose roles make no sense whatsoever. Like it's some shitty you know preschooler show. But in this world, these... Like, preschoolers show up, and they're, like, kids. And when the sun goes down, they turn into, like, shitty monsters. They're like a vampire and a werewolf and a mummy and one girl just turns into a zombie. And that's not how that fucking works, but whatever. And so they're the kids of, like, these monsters. But here's the like, fucking weird thing is that when the parents drop them off at daycare, when it's still daylight, their parents are monsters. Like, it's like a werewolf drops off his fucking nerd kid in his glasses, and the kid doesn't become a werewolf until, like, the sun goes down. So, like, I'm like, oh, shit, are these, like, special needs monster kids? Like, they're the fucked up kids that aren't monsters all the time, and that's the problem? Bunch of autists? Yeah, the like, bunch of fucking autist monster kids. <laughs> and the cool thing's I'm maybe thinking too much into it. <laughs> but I think it's just, it's a fucking garbage show. But he flips his goddamn lid. Throws his little plush Mario. So Nicole's like, well... Fuck you, that's mine now. And uh, no TV for a week. And he does not like this development one bit. So yesterday, I pick him up from daycare. He's like, I'm going to go home, go at Super Monsters. I'm like, nah, man. Like, Remember what happened yesterday? But I said I was sorry. I'm like, yeah, I know. But like, you got to feel this one a little bit. And we'll, we'll talk, you know, come the weekend. You got to, you know, you got to give it a few days. But I, I said, I was, I'd be good. I will listen. I go, yeah, yeah, okay, cool, cool. We'll start listening, but like not yelling at me in my car because <laughs> that's kind of a not, that's not cool. I'm sorry. I listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he's just going nuts, going and going and going. And I'm cool until like I'm not cool anymore. 
And I'm like, you know what? Fine. You know what? Fucking this is what happens when you yell and scream and throw shit and act like an asshole. You don't get to do stuff you want to do. And he goes, I'm not be an asshole. I'm not going to be an asshole. I'm sorry. <laughs> Such a raff. I'm like, well, open that can of worms. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Can't put that toothpaste back in the tube. I'm sorry. Yep. I'm an asshole. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm an asshole. <laughs> Asshole. Like, well, <laughs> yeah, and also, I don't know. There's something just charming about a uh, asshole that makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. Because <laughs> Delphi is a uh, asshole. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. I don't want to be a single asshole. I'm not going to be an asshole. <laughs> yeah, but so that's been fun. Because at least he won't grow up being an asshole. We're yeah. trying, man. That's, that's the plan. Raise an asshole. And that's, 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 that's solid parody. We're trying. God damn it, we're trying not to raise an asshole. He had such a sweet little boy haircut in that picture that Nicole posted the other day, too. He looked like a, such a sweet boy. Hey, he is a sweet boy. A up sweet until, boy. like, he's not a sweet boy. Like, <laughs> then, oh. then he's an asshole. Got the, that, that, that fiery Rodriguez temper he reads so much about. So, you know, we're working on that. Fucking, uh, is that we still doing the jujitsu? Rolled with some boys today and kicked their asses. So that oh, was kind of rad. Yeah, proud daddy. That made her feel real good. Yeah, see, you're not raising assholes or punk bitches. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely not. No, well, zero not. punk bitch. So we're, we're, we're doing well, our best over here. I hear uh, Nicole is doing kickboxing now, too. So you guys are just ready to take take on a whole gang. Yeah, she went and uh, they did kickboxing last night. Um, it's kind of bullshit, though. They signed up for this spot, it's a new place. Uh, and it's like, yeah, we'll get you like five classes and fucking free gloves, man. Fifteen bucks for five classes, and that's a thirty dollar value. Okay, cool. So they, they roll up there and they do their, their first class in school, and then they hit them up. Okay, great, you guys having a good time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, uh, the initial investment is one hundred ninety seven dollars. Oh no! Uh, oh, no. And then it's one hundred and thirty five dollars a month. No. I'm like, wait, <laughs> what happened? And I'm like, wait, 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 what happened to? Five classes being a thirty dollar value. That says six bucks a class to me. Like what the yeah. fuck? And not an option. So that's just some old bait and switch bullshit. So so they'll go, you know, we get their five classes in for sure, but that's a significant investment. It's like, baby, I got mitts and hip pads and gloves and a fucking I got a stand I got a bag downstairs. We can fucking do that shit here. Hell so, yeah. Yeah. So it'll be fine. But they did like it, but she's feeling it today. But yeah, so it's uh tell her she won't feel it when you choke her out next time you guys spar. Damn right. <laughs> yeah, once uh and and, and Jack's uh happened to catch a glimpse of Zoe when they were training a couple weeks ago, so he wants to do that too. So yeah, we're gonna be uh f- fucking the family of fires before long, and I'm kind of okay with that. Love it. Kind of rad. The rock's gonna do a movie about you. But he's only gonna be in it for like a minute or two. Oh, That's okay. Geez. You just need him a minute. You just need a little bit. I- Nizzle, have you heard that commercial on um, the radio? Like I the guarantee you, I have not. What what commercial for fighting with my family? Yeah, it's not. It's nothing but like rock, 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 rock. Well, rock, I mean, rock, that's that's rock, like, rock, rock, rock. That's rock. the way to sell it, and that's kind of why he put his name on it too, is so that it it would get that rock rub. Does every everyone just every, it, they took like every clip of everyone who said. The Rock in that movie, <laughs> and that was the audio trailer. On That's the radio. pretty funny. It's just That's old what? attitude. The Rock. Oh, you can't be the Rock. The Rock. 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 <laughs> Dwayne the Rock Johnson. What else? What else? Uh, 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 on Kelly's uh, recommendation, checked out that Sonic Mania on the Switch, and that's a damn good time. Good. Sonic Mania is fun. I'm digging that. Uh, and also on Kelly's recommendation. Um, Watched Zebra Man a few weeks ago. <laughs> that was kind of nice. nice. And I'm about halfway through Zebra Man 2. Only Which because it's more nuts. too late. <laughs> Zebra Man 2 was like, okay, cool. Now we're going to give you a lot of money. Yeah. We're going to give you a lot of money, give you a big budget, and just fucking go nuts. Because yeah. Here, you it, know, while we're at it, have some cocaine. Yeah. It doesn't make a lick of sense. Like, I like the cocaine. I like the cocaine. My favorite part of Zebra Man was like, okay. And I, I don't understand the leap they take to get here. But it's like, okay, you're never going to win. You can't beat these aliens unless you can fly, Zebra Man. 
Can you fly, Zebra Man? <laughs> <laughs> and you bet your ass he flew. But I'm, I'm like, I'm like, wait, why would he even think he could fly? He's like, a zebra. Zebras are not known for their flying prowess. Right. Like, like it's not like he's Condor Man or some shit that flies. He's a he's fucking, fucking Zebra Man. Like sweet yeah. ass pull, Condor Man. Like for the win. Damn right. But nothing about Zebra Man suggests he should be able to fly. <laughs> But God damn it, he does. <laughs> and so, yeah, Zebra Man 2 uh, takes place in the year 2025 when uh, Tokyo and the surrounding uh, areas have been converted into uh, Zebra City. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m., the city goes into Zebra Time, where during that time, the police can kill whoever they want to. Uh, and like it's like every day is like a little mini purge. Uh, um, yeah. To be fair, the police can kill whoever they want to whenever they want to. Anyhow. Well, this is Japan, not like <laughs> U.S. So it's a little yeah. different over there. Dude, this like, is there's... Japan where cop cars or cops carry around futon mattresses to roll up drunk people in. Yeah, yeah. They're a little more. It's a, it's a kind of gentler society, and they're held. Um. Oh God, what's um. Uh, accountable. That's it. They held accountable oh, for their there actions. Go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. It's a little different. A little different culture. Um, and then the only other thing is uh, fucking hop back on the the health wagon a little bit after uh, getting the taters off. on. <laughs> we did the taters. Did the taters for a couple of days. Uh, the 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 plan, The goal was five tater days. I made it two and a half, <laughs> and I was super bummed out. But like it was it was fucking hard this time. Like just like mentally just sitting down. These goddamn potatoes again was exceptionally difficult. I, I don't know why it was so tough this time. Because <laughs> you um, you remember. <laughs> I think yeah, so, yeah. you fucking know what's up. <laughs> yeah. Now you um, remember what you felt like on that Thursday. <laughs> but I said, wanted to. Is, but bullshit. the plan was to lose uh, fifteen pounds at the end of the five days, and I lost thirteen and a half in two days. I said, I'm out. I'm, out. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Close enough. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> close enough. And so, yeah, so then just kind of doing it like a normal person now, like eating well and working out like a fucking chump. You know, now I'm losing like a couple pounds a week, which God do I hate that. Like I want to, you know, we want to. Well, you already got your you already got your big weight loss, so now it's just chipping away. If I know, yeah. if you're gonna be a, that big of a bitch about it, eat some more potatoes, and then yeah. then we'll talk. <laughs> I know. Don't believe yeah, fucking. It's, it's, Buds McKenzie. Let's go Spud Web. <laughs> but for, uh, no bullshit. Thursday to Friday, I dropped eleven pounds. That's I'm fun. Like, How are your man. poops? <laughs> Fine. Yeah, like it doesn't do the stuff that you think it'll do because like you're not you. Put, I put so little in that your body just can't use it at all. Like it, if anything, I pooped less. Yeah, there wasn't like as much waste it's, to work it's with. It's just absorbing the carbs. Yeah. Yeah, and again, like, it's not like I did a lot. Like, I did the math, and then those two, two and a half days, I put down like, I don't know, six hundred and twenty calories. What like, if combined? What if all you shat was the skins? <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have stuck with it longer. It's because of how novel that would be, right? Just shit and skins. What happens next time? Oh shit, they're Julianne this time. That'd be so sweet. <laughs> oh shit, nice, a fucking nice pile of Arby's and some curlies. <laughs> oh, I'm a real life Play-Doh machine. <laughs> Fantastic. But yeah, that's all I got. It's been um, been a, a, a week of ups and downs, and I, and I very I think we touched upon it last week. I, I very suddenly was uh, told I have to go to Ireland for business. Uh, in a couple of weeks, so I'm trying to prep for that. It's just, it, oof, a lot going on, a lot happening right so, now. So yeah, what is that? Uh, two weeks from now, you're going to be gone. Yeah, <clears throat> after yeah. St. Patrick's Day, you're going to be in the airport on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I'll be landing in an Irish and a Dublin in Dublin airport on St. Patrick's Day. You better oh, fucking you better jig. You better pound one, homie. I should make you guys watch like a Dragon Ball Z movie while he's gone. <laughs> 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 what you got, Kelly? Besides Dragon Ball Z movies, make you uh, watch The this, Matrix. Fuck. I got this fucking sweet ass Dark Side. Oh uh, man, he's so cool. He just posted a picture of that in our little podcast chat, and 
I love him. He's my new Rocky son. That's real nice. I like the way the the like tunic kind of accentuates his dark side tits. It does, yeah. No, all of it just makes him look real good. What's he got there in his hand? A pack of camels? <laughs> you know it. <laughs> no, it's the mother box. And actually, if you don't want him to hold it, you can just magnet it to the to his back. Magnets cool. are amazing. Yeah. The uh, um, Mafex just put out a Spider-Man that has alternate hands and feet that have magnets in them so that you could fucking Spider-Man to anything that's metal. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, that thing looks really nice. So yeah, I, I'm, I got this guy today, so I, I've been playing with him for the past several minutes. Um, I started up... Uh, the new, uh, uh, not well, yeah, the newest uh, Yakuza game, which is Kiwami Two, and uh, there is a peeing mini game. God damn it! I, I, I have to admit, I love these Yakuza games. <laughs> oh, they're fantastic! It's great content for the show. Tell us, it really is. Tell us about your peeing game adventure. Uh, so I'm walking outside of the arcade, and a dude stops you, and he's like, "Hey, you want to help me with something? I'll." <laughs> I'll show you this new invention I've made. And he starts talking about like how his toy toilet. And I'm like, man, this feels like I'm at toy fair again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he just leads you into the bathroom and you have to like control your stream well enough to win. Uh, so there's two games. Uh, the first is you are playing against like your brother, you know, in the game and you're trying to see who can spit out the most milk at each other. It's strange. I don't get that one. Uh, but the other one, I, I feel, is universal. And you are a bird pervert who is trying to <laughs> a blow... A bird pervert? You, I think like, you are a human who spies on birds doing No, no, no. It, you're, you're a, a bird. bird who's a pervert. You're a bird who's a pervert, and you're trying to blow the dress off of a girl. Okay. So th your blowing power is linked to how hard you pee. That, that me, checked out. Let me tell you something. I blew that dress right off. <laughs> there should be a mini game in one of these Yakuza games where Kelly has to blow up balloons. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that one wouldn't go as well. But like no. in the game, you would be fucking great at it. That's true. So I'm, there, I'm still very early on in the game, so it hasn't been super wacky. Yet outside of that, uh, I posted on Twitter just a picture of Kiryu standing in a porn store. It was just pictures of actual pictures of Japanese women everywhere, which made me laugh. <laughs> that there's just all these actual pictures of women in this video game. Like a Neil Blomkamp trailer. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Did you recognize anybody? Uh, I don't think so. No Someone Matsumi looked... Max in there? Some looked vaguely familiar. Because they do use, like, actual, like, porn stars and gravure models in these games. Well, of course. I mean, they know their market. Yeah. They know they gotta sell the perverts. Yeah. So, yeah, what, outside of that... What, what, are they what, gonna, what are they gonna play in between tweeting at Twitch streamers and talking shit about the Captain Marvel movie. That's very true. Right? Ah, this fucking... You gotta have a game for the perverts. These goddamn jamokes and the Captain Marvel stuff. I'm already so sick of this movie yeah. just because I'm so tired of the discourse. Oh, I straight up <laughs> muted a Captain Marvel on my Twitter feed. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. Well, peace. as white men, you guys have the agency to do that. No, I'm pretty sure we all had the agency to mute kids. <laughs> I think we can all do that. Jose, you're out of town this weekend, aren't you? Correct, sir. Yeah. I referred to my yeah. calendar. Because, like, yeah. I don't know. Captain Marvel looks fine. Like, it looks like every other Marvel movie to me. Like, I don't know why... Well, I know why dudes are losing. You know shit. why. <laughs> I know why. I don't want to acknowledge why. It's because cause... she punches the grandma. No. Can we not get over that? 
And that's because she's tired of white dudes like the rest of us. I don't know. Honkies, man. man. Fu- these fucking honkies. <laughs> just crackering up everywhere. Mm. Just l- being real saltines about everything. I just can't imagine, like, not having anything to do enough that I'm like, this is the hill I want to die on. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No, it's completely insane. Imagine. Like, imagine not having any problems at all. Imagine dying suddenly, like unexpectedly, and someone checks your Twitter feed and your last tweet was, it is good to see that Rotten Tomatoes has no integrity. They cover up and censor people who go to their website. I, for one, will never trust or use that site again. It's your legacy. Uh, put that what shit, a legacy. Put that shit on your gravestone. What a lasting legacy you've left upon this world. You fucking dumb cock, James Mitchell, or whatever the shit your name was. <laughs> you dumb cock. What was his name? Nothing. John oh. Mitchell, that's it. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Oh, oh bringing it back. What on you guys? Oh, shit, man. Uh, so, yeah, the 90s were pretty lit. Uh, speaking of Captain Marvel, which takes place in the 90s, uh, me and Mary just finished the four-part Lorena Bobbitt uh, series on Amazon Prime, produced four by part, Jordan. Huh? Pro- four parts? Four parts. Four parts. Uh, an hour each. Uh, produced by Jordan Peele. No joke. And, man, the, the fucking 90s, like, the, the Lorena Bobbitt, John Bobbitt thing happened. For those that don't... Kelly? <laughs> Kelly, do you know who Lorena Bobbitt is? Not a clue. Really? Nope. So, to catch you up, uh, this was, you know, before the internet was, like, a a big deal. So, we still all got our news through cable and newspapers and stuff. Um, This chick, uh, wife to this dude, uh, claims to have been getting raped by her husband. So, in the middle of the night, she grabs a knife. Oh, she chopped his dick off. Chopped his dick off. <laughs> okay, I didn't know her name. Okay, okay. But I know who this is. Now. Yes. So. And then uh, a few year, years later, uh, her husband, John Wayne Bobbitt, the 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 dick in question. Yes. The 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 dick the uh, a newly dickless uh, man in question would have a uh, short run in the WWE. Oh, I forget. Like where he, he, didn't he? Where he was involved uh, with Mr. Val Venus. He was involved, and they didn't talk about that. <laughs> oh God, I forgot. They I didn't talk about that in the documentary at all. They did talk about his foray into porn, and wasn't it was like a what was the Japanese stable? Those guys. Kaintai. Uh, Kaintai, Kaintai, yeah. Kaintai, yeah. The well, Kaintai so that manager. was all related to the choppy choppy your pee pee? Exactly. Choppy choppy your pee pee. Exactly. Yeah, 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 because yeah, it was all related to that. Because Val Venus got his dick cut off by Kaintai, and then they brought in John Wayne Bobbitt as, like, I don't know, special guest referee or some bullshit. So he's like, oh, I've been there. Yeah. 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 Fucking bizarre. Yeah, they, they did not mention WWE, but I fucking remember that clear as day now. Yeah. Uh, you know, he was on Howard Stern a lot. He did a couple porns. He eventually became a bartender at the Bunny Ranch. Ah. And was <laughs> such a piece of trash, they fired him from the Bunny Ranch like six times. That's that's all super on brand. Yeah. Uh, John Wayne Bobbitt currently <laughs> has multiple vanity license plates that read Trump. That's about like, right. Like. On like, one on his car, real- one on his car, one on his motorcycle, and boy, okay. man, he, you know, they they say that bad things happen to bad people, and he's he's right there where he should be in life, you know, a whole rap sheet, and just looking like crap, still sending her letters, like I miss oh, you. That's oh, not. Yeah, I no. Just come back. Yeah. All oh, oh, well, he, he talks about it they in the documentary. He says they ah. could both make a shitload of money if they got back together and had a kid. Like, it would be a huge media thing. 
Ew. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, he's gross. He's fucking gross. Ew. He's an abuser, and he's a dumb dumb. But fucking ew. Think, thinking back to the '90s, you know, we're in the internet age nowadays, so things will move a lot faster. But back when this went down, the Lorena Bobbitt John Wayne Bobbitt incident happened, and then a few months later was the Nancy Kerrigan Tanya Harding thing. Oh yeah. And yeah. then. A few months after that, OJ. <laughs> like, so gotcha. The 90s. Like, we're in the world now where, you know, last week the president's lawyer, like, went and, like, put a whole bunch of, like, you know, proof all the illegal shit the president did, and already nobody cares. Yeah. But that's I, how fast it moves now. <laughs> I was going to mention that I watched a lot of the Cohen hearings when they were happening, but I didn't expect your response would be very positive. I could have watched it, but those fuckers preempted uh general hospital well Ooh. it's been really good lately this is all Ooh, useless don't bullshit. be interrupting kelly's general hospital yeah, motherfucker. this is all useless bullshit that nothing's gonna come from don't interrupt my general hospital uh -oh. well i hope you guys are wrong i hope things do come Shit, from this. i hope i'm wrong yeah like, i would love to be wrong yeah like i it's it's very rare that i like i man i hope i'm wrong but just it would have happened by now <laughs> Like it would it would have happened already, like, like he could kill a baby on C-SPAN in the White House, and they'd be like Mexicans. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Uh, I have been keeping an eye on my local Target for those Turtle Two Packs. Uh, I'm planning on going at least once a week until I find these fuckers. Nice, nice. Uh, and you know, we we went this past Friday, and no luck. Not even a Wellhouse Pennywise, so. And they're, they're saying that those things are still shipping. So some stores haven't even gotten them yet, let alone a restock. So Yeah, you know? we just got our Pennywise's like last week. Yeah, same boat. Looking for that uh, that new fancy Optimus. He's hitting there now. I've got the Amazon pre-order. But if I find him somewhere earlier for a few bucks cheaper, I'm going to do that. Got that uh, Hyper Real Darth Vader pre-order just before the show That's tonight. That's not, man. 60 bucks for that thing on Amazon right now if you're interested, y'all. I saw it on Instagram, uh, on an account we follow called uh, Toy Shiz, and it's just showing showing the listings. Like, get get that shit now, get it get it now. Uh, I think Tito, like, okay. even, Tito even picked one up. Well, I read it out loud. I said it to Mary. I was like, "So that hyper real Darth Vader, sixty bucks on Amazon, free shipping." She goes, "Oh." And about five seconds later, I go, "Okay, so hyper real Darth Vader is uh, pre ordered. <laughs> is coming this way." She's like, done Sweet. deal. Love it. And then I would like to take a moment of silence for guacamole Takis. Have you guys... Do you guys do Takis? Uh, yeah, I, I've, I fuck with Takis, and most recently I, Zoe fe found Takis. She's a big fan. I know of them. I've never... I don't think I've ever had them. The kids these days are, are all about the Takis. But I like a Taki, but they're they're super hot. Like, you can't eat many of those, but I like them. You are a delicate flower. No, like, <laughs> I am not. You're all like, Blaze Dorito is my star. Yeah, well, <laughs> come on. Takis are on the level with Blaze Doritos, I would say. Yeah, meaning they ain't shit. Uh, Lee. No, those Blaze Doritos. <laughs> those Blaze Doritos. That was good. That's the purple bag? Like the purple, the purple, the bag because spicy yeah. sweet chili is also purple, but it's like Ooh, purple. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of spicy chili is real good. So, so like anyhow, those. they have guacamole flavored takis now for my delicate sensibilities, and I have killed they, two bags in a week. They just look, they look awful. That color is so. Oh, the the green of the guacamole. It, it doesn't look great. <laughs> yeah, they don't look great, but they taste amazing. And they, too, even got a little spice to them. I would right. highly recommend if you can find them. Especially if you can't handle the regular Takis like a little bitch like me. Now that we're fucking, um, you know, we're both kind of on the, the health wagon a little bit trying to watch what we eat, watch our snacks. Uh, Nicole found some uh, Fuego, like the Takis flavor uh, Fuego uh Popcorn. Ooh. That's pretty legit. Like, oh and it's air God. popped popcorn. It's like real low fat and shit. 
my nose is running just thinking about it. Pretty good. Ooh, Pretty damn good. <laughs> and then, Would you know, recommend. Just, just catching up from Toy Fair still. Still looking through footage. It's finally nice to be back in the in the same bed for a week, so. I like that Niza's still looking through footage. That means he sends us pictures periodically of shit we did. I'm like, oh, yeah, that was great. Yep, it's yep. like reliving it all over again. So fun. Check out this picture of this box. It says fucking chicken. <laughs> 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 oh, and speaking of Toy Fair, um, I got um, that Rubik's Race game. I ordered one of those yes. for the family. And it has been a big hit in the house. Yeah, and the, like, As a matter of fact, I built, when I came up here, uh, Zoe and Nicole were playing it at the kitchen table. Eight, ah. eight bucks on Target.com. That's a steal. Yeah, that's bucks. not bad. That really is. Jeez. What's going on with prices? <laughs> right? Is something now, about is that, to is happen? Rubik's Cube um, official? I, could, I couldn't remember. Who, yeah, yeah, who yeah. Like yeah, it's Rubik's <laughs> official. Nice. There's nothing wrong with that stamp of approval. That's right. <laughs> It it took them long enough to think of different things to do with Rubik's. See, I kept, when I was well, looking yeah, at but... the footage, I kept seeing the boxes for the Rubik's cage. So I thought that's what it was called, and I kept searching for it, and I wasn't finding shit. And then it spun around, and it says Rubik's Race on the actual board. I'm like, oh, there it is, you dumb dumb. Rubik's Race. The race is on. So, do... Because you, you've got the little shaker. It's like the little Yahtzee shaker that tells you what the pattern is that you're supposed to figure out, right? Right. And then do you solve it for your view and they solve yes. it for their view? You don't, like, flip it around or anything? Right. Yeah, you okay. solve it for the way you see it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about it, and again, I think it comes down to it being eight bucks, is that the, um, I thought that the tiles would, like, kind of... I don't know, somehow click into place and they, they just don't. <laughs> so between games, you got to like, you know, put the things in the bag and then put them back in there, whatever. So those, that part's uh, kind of a drag. So they don't stay in the board. Right. Yeah. And doesn't like close like a battleship game or something like that. So that's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but again, $8. So. And you get, you get sense. your money's worth. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Not bad. So what you got going on, Jose? Fucking got roped into some goddamn originals. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. Have you heard of that show? Originals? No. I guess it's the spinoff of Vampire Diaries. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, are, why are you watching that? Well, me and the lady are watching it. Does the lady, lady no, has no judgment. A... I've watched Supernatural for 14 fucking years. So, um, so what it is is these guys are like the original vampires. So so I guess they took two characters and built another show around them. Okay. And so... he's like the original vampire <laughs> and he banged the chick that's supposed to be the wolf's uh, the werewolf queen. And they were going to have a baby. She's pregnant. So it was going to create a whole new race of being you know what i mean like that didn't exist before because the vampires you know everyone don't fucking like each other whatever it's in louisiana in the bayou <laughs> no yeah. so i don't know caught up in that it's fucking ridiculous you get it? so she's gonna give birth to and then there's like witches and it's all kinds of crazy shit so i guess it's like all that shit just mixed up into one <laughs> Did you watch Vampire Diaries? No. Did she? No. I don't know. Does she <laughs> have a thing for vampires? I don't know, but it, she keeps yelling at me that we're not finishing uh, Suki. <laughs> right. That's what I was thinking about. It was True Blood. Yeah, yeah we got to finish True Blood. It's still got to finish fucking Punisher. God damn. That and I found Blark and Son. Blark and Son. <laughs> I oh, think fuck. we found Blark and Son individually, and I wasn't sure if anyone else would be into it. And then Jose just dropped it in our podcast message one day. He, I must have watched one, or you must have watched one, and then one of us switched over to our other YouTube account, and 
the algorithm had more pop up. It just it, it birthed itself. So here, fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. So explain Blark and Son to those that don't know. So spitting image back in back in the it, it's a it's a puppet. Very spitting image like where it's very over the top animated the fucking the more well known reference is Land of Confusion, the Phil Collins music video. Yes. And also they did the the T V monitors in the eighties cafe in Back to the Future were kind of that same style puppet. Yeah. It's it's like a, a middle an older man who had a kid a little late in life and for some reason the mom's not around. And he's like a Vietnam and, vet. Yeah, like just fucking super Super intense, in your face, always crashing through his door, and then his son's like a millennial fucking uh, gamer nerd who is just, he's at that teenage age where he's like, fuck off, right. just leave me alone. And it's just, it, there's like six to eight minute episodes, there's like 15, 16 of them on there. And it was an originally um, an Instagram show. Yeah. A fucking Instagram show. Good on these guys. That's a thing? It, it, it was. Uh, they, they were like, well, when they talk in that video, they talk about being like one of the first people to do this. Like, it's yeah. so new. Like, nobody's doing it. Like, they had to fit the episodes into one minute because that's your limit on Instagram. And then it got picked up by Comedy Central, and now they expanded it to longer segments. And then so it's just... A day in the life of this fucking overbearingly protective father who looks batshit insane. Intense. The, the puppets are very lifelike. The, in gro their the grotesque upsetting. is really the word. They're yeah. super upsetting. Grotesque. upsetting. <laughs> yeah, like 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 they got like those hot toy eyes, so they can like yeah. position them in different ways, and it's silicone, so they're just super scary. They can emote very well w with the puppeteer and the lead puppeteer. It's like his brain, brain baby from the company that did Robot Chicken. Was it stupid, stupid Stu some shit? Yeah, stupid monkey, stupid monkey. Fucking. He uh, and what the um, the son is uh, Duplass. Yeah, du no, not Duplass. Uh, uh, McLovin. McLovin. Mince, Mince Plass. Du yes. Duplass is the fucking the league. league. The league. Yeah. Cool. I would suggest if you like weird shit, especially weird yeah, puppet yeah. shit, check out. Oh, it's so Arkansas. fucking. It's so fucking weird. It's so weird. It works. Speaking yeah, of weird it's shit, real weird. Speaking of weird shit, I sent a link to these guys today of this little kid <laughs> doing T Ninja Turtles stop motion. That shit's <laughs> bizarre. Calling. All the turtles autists and uh, eventually it's a six minute video and by like the five minute mark is when he starts dropping f bombs and um n bombs f ends he he said oh yes f ends you that's the weird thing like that's when you kind of know that's kind of when you know that they don't really know what the word is that they're saying was when they combine it with other words that they know <laughs> yeah what to say. like your context is bullshit yeah. That no, dude's no. playing Darude Sandstorm, oh. and we're getting flagged. What the fuck? Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this right now, but we got a, a guest on the line that has their video on. What is that? Oh, who we got? Who am I looking at? I think it's Matt. Oh, what shit. Is that? Oh, the belt. He's got the, the belt. belt. arrived. I told you I yeah. sent it. <laughs> What's, what step is that, Jose? <laughs> Me and Mary had a moment when we were out shopping this weekend where we basically reenacted the whole Belt in a Box song that we wrote on last week's episode. <laughs> One. I'm not going to... I'm not going to lie. I was a little tentative opening this box up with my kids around because I had <laughs> no idea what was going to be in it. Yeah. yeah well, that's, I'm, that's I'm respectful fair. in defeat. I, I appreciate that. Argument. I gotta put a dildo in there. Vetter did send his beard hair to Mary one time, so that's very true. Hey, and man. that is why I went through five bleach wipes as soon as this thing came out of the box. <laughs> do what you gotta do. D is I mean, Tito it, still it on did there? Come to WrestleMania weekend. Yeah, Jose, did you did you page on that belt? 
Oh, did I God. page on that belt? Or did, did you, I let Paige page on did that Did you do a full Brad Maddox on there? A gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. <laughs> full Brad Maddox. It's been bleached. Later on, we can do a blacklight if we need to. There we go. Uh, does it smell to. like weed? <laughs> yeah, I would be shocked if it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that just boy wanna... has a problem. I just want to join as the only four-time reigning champ right now in pop sports. It's true. That's true. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, dog. Two championships and two gold medals in one year. Hey, dude, everything is coming up Millhouse right now. Nah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you finally got your belt. Me too. So I'm ready to get my cover. third gold medal tonight. Boys. What's it? What? What? How's it feel? What? what what's it feel to be champion? It's a little heavy. I, I think I'm going to have to nap on it a little bit. I've got my it celebratory is. bourbon. Uh, I it's think. Tito. Okay. Still on it. Where's Tito? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Tito? The commission's still there. He's still there. Oh, that ah, proof. Ah, what up? All right, Pete Tito. <laughs> Jose getting indignant. <laughs> I'm respectful I'll never to the past. those people that really thought Tito died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Keep it up. Whenever, when anybody asks, "Oh, who's that?" Say it's a friend who just he couldn't be here today. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone instantly thinks, "Oh, he's oh. dead." No, he's not dead. He just couldn't be here, man. He lives in New York. <laughs> I'm here. He couldn't. He's on my belt. My son asked who he was, and I just said he was a uh, special person that had the belt one time, and he just kind of got sad. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Hey, I held up my end of the bargain. Good Dan job. Tito is the easiest thing to uh, just. You, you, people just go there instantly. Love it. Well, now my quest to get it back begins. That's right. That's right. Yep. That's right. Twenty twenty one sounds good. If you do get it back, Jose, you need to improve upon the Tito edition. Oh, and, you fucking better believe you need it. To make it be two Titos on there. You need to make there's it. Gonna, there's gonna be a Q Tito. You need to make it so that his cigar like glows. <laughs> I'm NWOing this thing as soon as I can. Oh man, I like that too. Uh, I like that too. Good. I just got real bummed out that the belt's back in Ohio. Ugh, gross. <laughs> Dude, I'm taking it with me tomorrow. I'm gonna get some Skyline Chili. Gonna get some Montgomery Inn ribs. Maybe some Ghetto with it. Uh. That Oh, see, now you're just trying to hurt him. Belt's gonna be gonna real barbecue page all the over. Belt's gonna be real me, disappointed about that chili. Me and the belt are going to Superfly on the weekend. Ooh, nice. That I like. I like that part. Awesome. Fucking great. Awesome. All right, boys. I just wanted to say hi. Stop in as your four-time reigning champ, and then uh, hopefully get champ. my fifth one tonight. Oh, hopefully it's gonna not. be nuts when you start next season. Oh, and five. <laughs> <laughs> It don't matter how you start. It's all how you finish, man. Oh, that is a point. You get a little bourbon in you. You get a little bit more accent in a you. frisky. <laughs> hey, man, I've been the king of Garbage Mountain, and now I'm the king of pop sports. So. Oh, man. Hey, hey, whoa, Love whoa, whoa, whoa. Love you, the you, shit you, talk. <laughs> no, 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 not king. You, you're the champ. No one's been reigned king yet. Let's see. Let's see at the end of these Olympics. <laughs> ESPN, the global leader in sports. <laughs> Trinity brought her jacket. She remembers how cold nine, shit is. Nine, nine. The whole thing's fucked. <laughs> All, right. All right, man. Later, man. Right, guys, good luck. Good Hold luck. In. Congrats. Enjoy your reign. Proud of you, Jose. Well, you did it. Oh, everyone who wins should add their own picture of Tito on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who who has a typewriter? Who is using an old timey mechanical typewriter? I'm sorry, it's me. I'm trying to open <laughs> oh, my other just toy. Clickety I clackety. Today. I thought it was Matt because it started like when he like came on. Belt. Yeah, I thought no, it was it's me. I'm trying to open the Godzilla I bought. God damn it, Kelly! Get a quieter <laughs> keyboard. But that was this. See, you broke. No one would have. Everyone still would have blamed him if he would have stopped once he left because we all That's thought true. it was the belt. <laughs> Uh, fantastic alright I got him out of the package we're all right now Hello? go ahead and put a fucking asterisk by this season sure 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 <laughs> <laughs> god
classic hey, stuff. Hey, you'll never take the asterisk belt. I still got that motherfucker. Don't make me turn on my webcam. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep that belt. Man, that belt. All right. That belt has been to India, and I'm more bummed that it's in Ohio right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's awesome. WWE? All right. Well, I think it might be time, gentlemen. Oh, shit. Let the games begin. All right. Apologies for the delay. But we really, really couldn't be bothered to do this last week. Uh, too much happening. But now it's time for uh, the third event of the Pop Winter Games. There you so go. So this week we're doing Game 3, Alpine Skiing, otherwise known as Slalom, 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 slalom Skiing? Slalom, yeah. Slalom. That's a fucking dumb word. <laughs> slalom. <laughs> slalom. It's like slalom. rural. 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 <laughs> Uh, my truck's got a dual rear wheel. <laughs> <coughs> Roads. Road. <laughs> Man, it's Road. real hard getting this tail in this Godzilla's ass. <laughs> Been there, dog. <laughs> Been there. All right, so uh, da -da -da -da, real quick, uh, catch up on the rules. A competitor skis down a slope with a series of gates, which are formed by a pair of flimsy poles. The gates alternate between red and blue, and the skier must pass through each gate as they go down the slope. Specifically, their feet and skis have to have go between the poles. It's common for the skier's upper body to hit the poles. Yeah, I read that previously the poles were rigid, so like you didn't want to run into them, and then they made them flexible so that you could body check them just as long as your skis were in between. Yeah. Guys, I just had an idea for a rules change. Oh, shit. Let's instead of like these flimsy things, let's just make them light tubes. <laughs> Light tubes are flimsy as fuck. Well, yeah, but now you're not just going to, like, tip a thing over. You're just going to be covered in broken glass. Well, it doesn't get tipped. It, ju it just kind of gets wobbled to one side. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. But so now it'll just shatter on you. So yeah, that uh, nice satisfying sound. That would make a little more pop fantasy. I'm just saying. It is. Yeah. It, it's not the uh, event that we're doing this week, but I shared a video with the guys uh, as I was researching winter sports. Uh, oh yeah, fuck this, that so hard. Uh, and... Chick slow. Uh, no, um, what what is it? Luge, 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 luge. And some motherfucker leaves a broom <laughs> on the track. Uh, I need to find the video because I'm under. Let's see here. Anyhow, this this chick's lugeing and she gets hit in the face, hit hit in the shoulder with a broom, and it's ridiculous. Terrible. Yeah. Fucking athletics is tough, guys. It's tough, tough business. It's super tough if some dickhead leaves his broom in the track. Yeah. That definitely, that definitely changes things a little bit. All right. So uh, this week, representing uh, the Hearts Kingdom, we got Donald Duck. Representing the Bushwood Country Club, we got Race Bannon. Uh, for Sweden, Yakko Warner, Center of the Earth, Bugs Bunny. Uh, it's outside of Wakanda. You got Frozone, Zion, Trinity. Uh, from the Haas system, you got fucking Snowjob. Uh, <laughs> Melvin. The, coin, the Red Death. From Motunui, you got Iron Man. And for uh, Denimtopia, you got uh, Spider Man. Peter That's Parker. That's not a place. No, not a place at all. No place at all. <laughs> all right, so, uh, ahead of the game, let's go ahead and say we did kind of have a little discussion between rounds and determined that our scoring system was fucking stupid and complicated sure was so uh this week we're gonna score everybody on a 10 point scale you know like the olympics yeah uh, and then the win the winner is will be the person who has the most points at the end that makes a lot of fucking sense love it you think love it and we can all see each other's votes so uh if you vote give yourself a 10 you better be willing to stand stand by it because yeah. we can all yeah. see it all right, so to that end, Iron Man Tony Stark gets a perfect 10 because he's coming equipped with a specialized snow-ready suit. It's got skis on it. We got repulsor technology for the most minor adjustments. Now, like, like Frozone is definitely the biggest competition here, but Frozone is victim to 
uh, inertia and gravity. Whereas Iron Man's like, no, we're going to repulse her down the whole fucking mountain. And we're going to go in record time with his advanced AI targeting for utmost accuracy. Pim, he got a fucking, he, he could rocket that suit up a bee's asshole. It's that laser focused. But luckily, these gates are a little bit bigger than that. And he's going to be at the bottom. Light you know, tube, sir. Light hanging tube. out in a hot tub before anyone gets halfway down that fucking mountain. It's, gonna be, it's, 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 it's the perfect competitor for this particular event. I uh, really do think Iron Man is a good competitor in this event, but I was surprised I didn't find any comic book pages of Iron Man in skis. I figured that would be some goofy shit that they did in the 70s at least a couple times. Yeah, I can imagine Jim Steranko drawing a stupid ski Iron Man armor. Yeah, for real. I feel oh, totally. like this was a scene from the Iron Man cartoon, even. Oh, that Iron Man cartoon was garbage. It that was definitely was something they did there. Absolutely trash. Yeah, that, that would make sense. That is a little bizarre that it was hard to find. So, I mean, you get a little ding there for that. I, I don't know. You know what's not fucking hard <laughs> to find? What's that, Kelly? Pictures of Bugs Bunny skiing. <laughs> Look them up. Look them up. Do me a favor. Go on your Bing. Go on your fucking Google. Alta Vista. And type in the words Bugs Bunny skiing. You know what you're going to find? That's right. You know, you know what you're going to find? I mean, there, there are numerous Look, Hang on. Let me, let me get close up on the mic here. You know what you're going to find? What's that? You're going to find some fucking pictures <laughs> of Bugs Bunny skiing. <laughs> because that's what he does. He skis. And he's so fucking good at it. <laughs> Is he good or is he still practicing? We still haven't seen. He looks pretty confident. He looks real good. But he, I also found this image. Are we of, sure they're not green screen? I've also found this image of Bugs Bunny, which uh, would uh, refute Kelly's argument. Because that bitch cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's. But oh, also but... look at look at the temperature. Do you see what the temperature is? Yeah, what's the temperature? Oh, uh, that's negative twenty. And he's still okay. That shows he's all right in the cold. The frigid hair. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> Point Kelly. <laughs> ha I like ha. It. I feel like uh, Frozone's fairly self-explanatory, but hit us anyway, guys. What's up? Yes. Uh, if Frozone took home the bronze for the biathlon in that first event, which I did, uh, he's got to be guaranteed a gold in this event. Frozone is an ice-powered superhero with skis in his super suit, and he took third place in an event where you ski, stop, and shoot at targets. The only advantage Race Bannon and Brock Sampson had over Frozone in that event was their firearms experience. Not only does Frozone not have to stop and shoot in this event, but he's the best skier in the event with the ability to change the density and aerodynamics of the course to his benefit. Winner, oh, that, that's, Frozone. That's solid. Like, like Frozone is definitely uh, Iron Man's biggest competition, but yeah, still not enough. So, uh, how, how, how about your girl, uh, Jose? Did you bring girl, a nice, nice comfy jacket? You want jacket? to talk about zoned in. She has had, what, this is three weeks of just straight training, knowing the cores, knowing the effect of light tubes as they hit your body. Yep. <laughs> she has dialed all that in. She knows what's up. Now, she training was robbed. With, training with Nick Gage himself. <laughs> She was robbed out of meddling in the first event, which she should have. I agree. Now, if anything, it, it was involved in shooting. If anything, she should have been out of this one instead of the other. But there's no way she's not meddling in this one. She's honed in. She knows what's up. She made sure she brought extra padding Underwear, layers, <laughs> long jackets, johns, whatever the fuck was needed to battle this apparent frigid weather <laughs> that kept a fucking super being from being able to meddle in a ski shoot competition. <laughs> who has the most laser focus of any of the competitors playing in this game? If there's anything, she is at least a bronze in this motherfucker. I like it. I like it. Solid logic. All right, going to the email. That's uh, popcast at 
Peloton page dot com for all you motherfuckers keeping score. Uh, Joe Wang writes in. Oh shit! That's right. Uh, oh shit is right. <laughs> oh shit is right. All right, so. All right, I should have done my homework here. Uh, there's a pretty striking uh, visual aid ah. that he sent in. That's pretty, pretty good. This is um, uh, the Red Death we're going with. Yes. <clears throat> I'm just gonna Google the Red Death scheme. Uh, you're gonna Google uh, Slow Racer Batman. And turns out there was a a Batman New Adventures action figure called. <laughs> Slalom Racer Batman. <laughs> Slalomly. Is, slalom. That's nothing no one's ever said out loud. Uh, slalom. Slalom. Uh, fucking ah. Lahaim King Batman. Uh, Bless you. Lahaim. Shit. <laughs> Batman, a sweet ass ski suit, which is kind of genius. Well, like they did your homework. And, and you would think that Batman would be prepared because of Mr. Freeze. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, evening to all population and podcast hosts. Uh, I also like the host. He spelled H O A S T. I like that. Like the hoary host of Hogoth. I like that. Uh, this week, I chose the Red Death yet again to throw on a pair of skis and rep his group. This time is different. We're talking downhill, not just distance, but no speedster tricks this time. We're talking a ninja on skis here. Bruce's agility and the ability to move is going to be the real player here. While going up against Yellow, going up against Snowjob and Frozone, I hope to at least place this time. Let's go down the list. Number one, aerodynamic suit. Check. Number two, ninja skills. Check. Number three, see attached image. Yes. Slalom race of Batman. While some people argue that there's no proof this version of Batman turned into the Red Death, surely, though, all those crazy dimensional wackiness, this could have happened. Thanks for a great podcast. Can't wait to listen how this all works out. Joe Wang, sent from my toaster. Love a good visual aid on an audio podcast. But yeah, by all means, everybody, just for the fun of it, uh, check Google uh, Slalom Racer Batman, and it looks. Like you think it does. It, it looks does like clan, clan Batman. Clan Batman with <laughs> Mission Masters. His like mission it. to infiltrate the Black Panthers. Oh, sorry, but holy shit. Did you guys know that the actor who plays Ron Stallworth in Black Klansman is Denzel Washington's fucking son? What? Yeah. They no. kept this a secret from us, <laughs> but now that you think of it, think of him making the phone call to the clan. That's 100% Denzel's voice. Well, all right. Good for him, though. Fucking A. Not, uh, not relying on his old man's uh, name. That's cool, too. I like that. Well, I mean, he was in Malcolm X as a kid, and he was also in the Book of Eli, and... You know, uh, Spike Lee and and Denzel Washington have done like a hundred movies together. So. I'm with you. <laughs> All right, so we got a whole lot of fucking words here in this email from Shark. Oh, Shark! Shark got what into the fucking... bourbon early. Not 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 paying attention to goddamn rules, everybody. I said make this shit short. Ain't got you, a goddamn night. You've been getting these gold medals because you've been keeping it short, man. Yeah, now he's no. talking too much shit. Mm -hmm. That's what's mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. Talking a lot of shit mm -hmm. here. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Talking uh, all mm -hmm. that shit. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got downhill skiing. Blah blah blah. blah. Uh, any cannot prepare yourself with anything but gravity and your ability on skis. I don't think that's true. Oh, if Iron Man's got a fucking super suit, he's gonna use a super suit. If uh, Frozone can manipulate the snow, he's gonna manipulate the snow, man. That's a faulty logic on your part. You're not thinking outside the box here, son. Yeah, he's actually in the chat arguing his point right now to zero too, and zero is like, nope. <laughs> No, nah, fuck that. Nah. Like, no, like I'm gonna bring a fucking super suit. The point of this is to use people with powers, and they're That's able to they use those powers have. just as long as we're not breaking rules. But yeah. you get to be that character and do that character. <laughs> <laughs> so, top three, no particular order. He's gonna say Race Bannon, who's his uh, Frozone, Nyes, and Snowjaw Vetter. Yeah. Race Bannon and Snowjob don't have a fucking prayer in this against like actual superpowered people who are <laughs> like, just. You're gonna anyway. put yourself at a gold in your own rankings. Mm. Yeah, right. So he says, uh, 
Since pictures mean things, here's a picture of Race Bannon teaching everyone how to ski because he's so good at it. <laughs> and he does also include a sweet visual layer, which I'll drop here in the chat. Maybe <laughs> I can throw it up in the uh, chat as well. Uh, we're not voting for ourselves, right? No, we are voting for ourselves, but we're being honest. You got to be honest about it. You got to be realistic. Okay. Uh, and that's just like it, it hey, is old motherfucker. School. It is an old school in a graphic of fucking uh, Race Bannon teaching people to ski. That's good. That's good. Also, he's already won a skiing event, and he raced down the hills with Johnny on his back. <laughs> and he's raced down the hills with Johnny on his back. He has skied away from bad guys at top speeds. He's also used skiing to uh, used to skiing in heavy tree lined forests. Used to find the perfect path and just scraping around the tree, uh, so won't have any issue getting, getting between the gates. The pressure won't get to him. Plus, he's already won this year, meaning he won't have to press to get the gold. He's the Michael Phelps of this year's Olympic Games. Oh my God. And then a whole bunch of other shit. I'm not going to read about the other competitors. Just because. Uh, points off because he sent this image that, quote unquote, shows Race Bannon teaching people how to ski. But no, it's all of the cast members of Johnny Quest teaching other people about skiing. And it looks like it's like a middle school science fair project. Right. Did you make that? Did you make this? <laughs> <laughs> Did you fucking make this thing? This, uh. I smell, I smell some shenanigans, gentlemen. Oh, motherfucker. So, making shit and sending it. Motherfucker, in I am the shenanigans. Don't you better write shenanigans, me. Once again, we meet up for a skiing event. And once again, the only competitor that actually has skied for the Olympics is Snow Job. <laughs> uh, he also happens to be a Melvin. <laughs> uh, if Jon Snow sweeping up ale and kitty pie on the wall. Uh, is grounds for gold medal experience in curling, aka chess on ice. Fuck you to death, better. Uh, then certainly skiing in the Olympics is grounds for gold medal experience for skiing in the Olympics, right? <laughs> you gotta be there, right? This isn't his first go at this. This isn't something he needs to learn or practice. This is what he does better than anyone else here. I said that somebody else day one. is the equivalent of the rock or stone cold beating Kurt Angle in an Olympic wrestling match. Oh, it's true. As for my two cents, John Snow, a snow job beats out Frozone for the gold. They're his only. They are they are the only two in gold medal talks, as they both live on snow and ice. As for bronze, I'm th looking at Trinity for beating out the rest of the pack. I'm sure Brace Bannon and Bugs know how to ski is not on the level of the others. Time to stop the hate and do what's right. Vote Snow Job for gold. I've had Snow Jobs back since day one. Let that be recorded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You Snow certainly job's have. not going to beat Batman. Like, much less fucking Iron Man and Frozone. Yeah, but just because Batman has skates on his suit, that doesn't mean he's a great skater. That he's just an means... Olympic level athlete. Batman's good at everything. You think Batman's going to make yeah, a fucking... But, okay, okay. Not be bitching Wait, at skiing? Here's my thing. Snow job can't go beat Batman. True. But... This is what Snow Job does. He jobs <laughs> this, the snow. This is his snow job. Yeah. <laughs> Any so, of us. Like he is it he is to skiing what Batman is is to be in Batman. Like that's what he does. While you are right that Snow Job can't go off and be Batman, um any of us three fucking clowns can go and be Snow Job. No, uh... no, no. No, no. He is an Olympic gold medalist in skiing. Yeah, I think if any of us could, we would be in the Olympics. Right. <laughs> there, ain't, there ain't money in the Olympics. Who cares? Nah, it's true. Not good. I All there is right in the there. Olympics is chlamydia. Jesus Christ. All right. So not uh, wrong. Just ask Olympic Village. I've yeah, that's <laughs> the real shit, man. I've heard that. Just ask There's Ray a, Rice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Juggalo John writes in uh, about 7,000 words about Yakko Warner. I'm not reading all this, John. Uh, what says, happened? Uh, you guys were being so good. Well, you can. We can also share the load, Lee, if you need it. It's just a lot. Too much fucking okay. words. Okay. Uh, says, I have a small problem. Yakko Warner and Bugs Bunny have pretty much the same powers and skills. Anything yeah, I say in defense about Yakko can also be said about more powerful than the other. Who's that? I think uh, one of them is far more powerful than the other. See, I would almost say that Yakko might be more powerful. 
No. Yeah, because Jack, I don't, I don't know, man. He's it's so uh, I don't know the the impish nature of the Animaniacs versus the kind of focused like uh, Bugs are very goal oriented. The Animaniacs are all over the place. Bugs Bunny fought in World War II. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you got me there. You got yeah, but me. Did there. he do it on skis? Snow job did. War. Snow Who's... job didn't fight in World War Two. What he uh, fought the, what World War Cobra too. What side did Bugs Bunny fight on in World War Two? <laughs> he was really fighting against Donald ones. Duck. Because because I've got some pictures of Donald Duck that I would like to share with the court. <laughs> yeah, no, mine was on the right side of history. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> god damn! I would love the context of this crazy ass Donald Duck cartoon. Uh, Hitler found uh, like the Disney cartoons to be hilarious. Wow, that's nuts. Uh, okay, as the Warner Brothers cartoon character, both have the ability to pull from thin air any tool they seem to need. From an Acme rocket for speed to an anvil spring combo that can slink you them down the mountain to each gate. Both characters each have an infinite list, list of like combos to pull. Uh, both have the ability to ski as well as many other comparators, but their ability to pull just the right thing from nowhere gives them the edge over the rest of the field. That's a very good point. The fucking hammer space of it all is kind of interesting. Yeah, but what do you need to grab? I'm just saying, he's saying he could slap uh, an Acme Rock'em on his back, which, as he points out, always but works for the good guys, only fails for the bad guys. But it's good and going straight. Right. Good and going straight. That's a yeah, problem. That's yeah, not that's gonna help you're not you really that. going straight. Yeah, so that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, he also makes a point to uh, mention that, you know, if they do fall down, they're kind of bounce and be cool. They're basically immortal. Well, yeah, but falling down gives you uh, time deductions, don't it? Yeah, right. Yeah. So, so I, mean, I mean, that's cool. You're not injured. I, I'm good for your health and safety, but. You ain't winning no gold, right. falling, clumsy. Yeah, he's definitely uh, making some good points here about like what they can do, but not necessarily like a plus for the abilities in this event. Like you know, saying that if he falls down and fucks up, he'll be okay implies he's gonna fall down and fuck up. Yeah, if you already have like a a fallback procedure a for him falling. Plan. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's solid, but but a little uh, maybe if if anything, maybe a little bit too thorough. Uh, Juan writes in. Uh, and it's succinct to the goddamn point. Oh, Here we pulling go. Like for this. you, Juan. Pulling for you. Uh, Spider-Man wins skiing. Sp <laughs> Spider-Sense works with advantage as well as prior knowledge of skiing before. I present the proof in Marvel Treasury Edition number 25. <laughs> Spider-Man versus the Hulk at the Winter Olympics from 1980. And sure as shit, uh, Spider-Man making himself some web skis. And, well, like, also in this image, he just skis right into the Hulk and, like, falls down. Ooh. Oh. That's not, like... Oh, oh, you fucked yourself up. I wouldn't evidence. share that evidence. <laughs> oh. He's like, check this out, dudes. This is what he did. He fucking fell. Like, like the, the one proof that he shows, I'm like, oh, cool, he's making skis, making skis. Oh, and he hit the Hulk and fell down. So that's just... It's so close. So close. Uh, uh, that is sounds like a six to me. I found a picture uh, of what looks like Spider-Man bringing democracy to Wakanda. <laughs> uh, this uh, is a lot of Nazi Donald Duck stuff. Apparently, nice is finding. Holy shit! Yeah. Uh, what looked uh, like a Nazi Donald Duck like statue or something? Like it looks like a tactile thing with actual cloth on it. Almost looks, looks like, like a mascot a, costume. Yeah, I was gonna say that looks like a costume someone made. Like why? Is there so much Nazi Donald Duck? Stuff? But then you saw the picture of Spider-Man with the web skis. He represents being tugged by Superman while bringing democracy to Wakanda. Yep. yep. That's it too. Uh, also, it says here uh, that the 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 uh, image that he attached of Spider-Man literally putting on skis and then three panels falling down and hitting the Hulk uh, is called Spidey Wins Fu dot Ping. So. <laughs> There you go. All right. All right. Uh, and then Cat rides in. Slalom skiing, Donald Duck. Lots of pictures of Donald Duck skiing in this email. Not one of them is wearing a Nazi armband. That's a good start. Good. <laughs> well, you don't want to get your Nazi armband uh, wet with don't snow. That. Uh, Donald Duck wins because he skied before. He's pretty good at it. Look at the picture for concrete evidence. Uh, happy, happy Duck winning in the snow sports. 
Hoorah, every duck is happy, except Scrooge, because he sucks. And money can't buy happiness, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. By the way, if Trini needs a jacket, Nala can just cast a fire spell on her to heat her up very quickly. See, that's good sportsmanship, Cat. I like that. I like that. Uh, oh, disclaimer. Donald Duck from Kingdom Hearts is not and never has been affiliated with the Nazi party. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I don't know. Really, bro, Nazis don't even exist in Kingdom Hearts. So there you go. You're pulling the multiverse card, and that's a good card to pull right now, okay? Nah, man, that's another universe. That ain't me. <laughs> that guy just looks a lot like me, but we have vastly different life experiences. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right, so I got to say. Um, uh, can I get um, wands again since it was so brief? Let, let's hear this again. Oh, there's not much to it. Uh, and again, I appreciate the uh, the succinctness of the message. He says, Spider-Man wins skiing. Spider-Sense works at his advantage, as well as prior knowledge of skiing before. I present the proof in Marvel Treasury Edition number 25, Spider-Man versus the Hulk at the Winter Olympics from 1990. Man, I, I, like, too many of these competitors use the excuse that they know what skiing is as to the reason that they're going to win. I feel like you're you're missing out on on using Spider-Man's powers more creatively for this. Like I I was pulling for you, Juan, but he knows what skiing is. <laughs> Does not yeah, a gold medal. Make. The picture showed him hitting the fucking Hulk and falling to the ground. Right. I mean, for that's like that's like wacko. You're like you're bound to fuck it up. And that's just points deducted. And any point deduction is not beaten. Frozone or Iron Man, they're not beating Snowjob. And they sure as fuck ain't beating Trinity. You fall yeah, they're, they're beating Snowjob. <laughs> this is what he does. His that, uh, only that, job that, is snow. That Donald Duck Nazi cartoon uh, won the Oscar for best animated short film, oh the 15th Annual God. Academy Awards. Oh my Sounds God. about right. Uh, because it is an anti-Nazi propaganda piece in which Donald Duck is a nightmare setting working at a factory in Nazi Germany. It was made in an effort to sell war bonds and an example of American propaganda during World War II. Huh. Interesting. 1994 was voted number 22 of the 50 greatest cartoons of all time by members of the animation field. So he was a reluctant Nazi in this film. <laughs> oh, he's like Finn. Yeah, there you go. Interesting. I wonder how hard it is to find that thing on YouTube. <laughs> oh, the Donald Duck thing? Yeah. I just dropped a link. Um, Shark sent me a link, and I put it in the podcast chat. Oh, there it is. Sweet deal. Well, there you go. Now you know. Sorry, I had to look that up. All right, so... Yeah, okay. uh, Except for you, Lee, all of the scoring is is done. It's oh no shit. Yeah, so uh, we'll take this quick break so you can do your score. We can tabulate, and we'll come back and we'll announce the medalists. And as our, we're gonna do this every week to kind of uh, cover up the space that we need for the scoring. But uh, we're gonna do classic little popcast bits. This one is thanks to uh, Mahoney. For sending this in. Well, obviously, they're all going to be from Mahoney. <laughs> but uh, here's a little classic podcast bit about Back to the Future. Enjoy this, and we'll be back with your medalists. Break! Goddamn, can that movie get any better? No, it cannot. So leave it know. alone. It could, it could, it could benefit some, from some tits. It's got tits. It's well, like not a, like bare tits. It's not going to have any tits. That's what I'm saying, like... It. If they'd art it up a little bit, no, you can't no. art up Back to the Future. That it's it's a, it's a family movie that is nowhere near like grown family type movie. That that's a movie everyone can fucking enjoy. It should be left alone. I'm saying everyone could enjoy it a little more with some nice tits in it. Not everyone. It makes it weird because she's his mom. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Kerouac You're, really wants. Ugh. Is he? he it doesn't, wants the it doesn't have to be. His mom hook up. No, no, it could be. Yeah. It could be mm -hmm. like Biff rips her shirt open, and you're like, "Oh, tits! Oh, yeah, rape oh, house! Yeah. Rape yeah. house! That's yeah. what Back to the Future is missing—a rape scene. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you're right. That's <laughs> so much better. <laughs> that's not weird spot. at all. Jesus Christ, you Mel Gibson. Psychopath. So no one let Mel Gibson direct the Back to the Future Biff, remake. Biff throws the rain down on the counter at the diner. <laughs> hey, you! Get your damn hands off of her! <laughs> We've got a uh, Excel doc Yeesh. open up with all the scoring. And we could see see it live as we're all putting in our scores. And Lee had it all tabulated up, so he's ranking everybody. And he puts Iron Man as number one. I'm like, Lee? <laughs> I didn't see it. I didn't see it. <laughs> and then I see he goes up and he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got a... Um... I gotta formulate. The, I gotta format these cells to populate based on. I can so highlight the colors. Uh, like uh, you know, the highest one is a different color. Matt, like, Ooh, that'd be cool. Matt in the chat asked who the girl was in the clip, and it was Mary. And I had to bring her into my office to confirm that that it was her, because at first it sounds like her, and then the "you're gross" didn't really sound like her. I've heard my wife say that I'm gross plenty of times, and she sounded legit disgusted. <laughs> Well, as she should be. And I sound mad at him. You sound so mad. We yeah. all sound terrible. <laughs> I don't think I was on that episode. No, you were not. You were not, obviously, because I kind of led the con conversation there. I sounded so angry. You just sounded you gotta really just leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like you... Do I still sound that mad? No, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, uh, the scores are in. Uh, and uh, bringing home the bronze. We're going Trinity. Trinity oh, style. look at that bitch. I'll take it. I'll it's take pretty it. good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I, Respectable. I, I, Respect. Respectable. Respect. Respectable. Respectable. Respect. And finally, getting on the goddamn board, uh, Iron Man bringing home the silver. Respect. And so it's barely eked out a fucking loss to Frozone taking the gold. Just well, I, I see it as those two were, were neck and neck for the they're gold. Pretty, they're pretty close. They're, pretty, they're pretty, neck pretty. and neck for the gold. But I, I think even with all the tinkering and tankering his suit can do, Ozone There's lives the cold. It's something to be said for his natural ability. I, I will so he barely that. edges him out. But I think any given day, it's like fucking Rocky and Apollo. At, at any moment, the other one could, could take it. Well, I can't believe is anyone giving Spider-Man anything less than a, more than a fucking one after his only evidence of being on skis of all saying falling immediately. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get a five just for participating. So, I gave Spider-Man my lowest score, and, but that's because I was I was expecting I was expecting better out of Spider-Man in this. I think Spider-Man could have could have nipped at the heels of the medal ceremony if if done correctly. Spider-Man wasn't beating Trinity though. No, they so gave Spider-Man a ten. <laughs> he fucking sure did. Well, like so I said, hey, no job. I gave I've had. I've been snow team snow job from the I gave time. snow job a nine because while snow job is a Melvin Vetter had a very well strategized plan and and description of of but why snow job day, he's, but he's just a dude yeah but he's also an Olympic medalist in this event and that he lives this all right all right you got right. them GI Joe skis dog I think they actually call him Joskis. I think that's how you pronounce it oh, when it's you're. So cute. Uh, it's like Shark a wants to know what were Cutito. places. What were places four through ten? <laughs> you fucking serious? Um, let's see. All right, hang on. Bugs see. Bunny came up with number four. Fuck yeah, he did because he's good. And then Snow Job was five. Robbed. Race Bannon, uh, six. Well, they're just humans. They, well, well, you know, what I mean, like they're not hanging with Frozone. And then we got Yakko, Donald Duck, Spider Man pulling up the rear. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So yeah, that I, was I think that was a uh, uh, 
well represented. That that judge was sweet though. Yeah, that, that worked that, really well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that judge worked. Really that point, was very smooth. To the point we're where we're like, Lee, you're the only one that needs to vote. Let's go to break real quick. <laughs> Yeah, Very so, so we're gonna do this from now on. Yeah. This is better. Yeah, I like. This shit is getting tight. I like to be Watch able out. to put my thoughts down as we went. So, as as people pitch yeah. their strategies, I I was given my score in real time. I like it. I like it. And like you it. better believe I gave myself a ten. God damn it! <laughs> Respect <laughs> to Jose and Kelly who did not give themselves tens. I don't believe any of these I people would be I perfect. Didn't. Give myself a Jose 10. Jose gave Snowjob a 10. That's right. I was the only one that didn't give anyone a 10. Because fucking Snowjob, dog. <laughs> team Snowjob. I was Team Snowjob from the beginning. If I gave Snowjob a 10 the last one, I can't give him anything less than a 10 on this one because it's oh, a fucking event. So I have to be consistent in my judging. It's true. And I, and I felt that Trinity should have at least meddled in the last event. And she's... The Frozone, it being his element, gives him the complete edge Literally. over Iron Man, and I don't think Trinity is going to beat Iron Man. I think in a in second that, run, Iron Man could beat Frozone because he would know possibly. the track, know Frozone's strengths, possibly update his firmware to... Well, yeah, after, after doing it once and doing, you know, he could go over it. But even talking Bat Red Death Batman... You know, Batman's fucking dope. Batman's Batman. But he's not a, immediately a gold medalist in skiing the first time he puts well, on skis. This won't be his first time putting on skis, but still. Right, but all he'll those be other good. would be leisure. He like, will like be... how many times is Batman fighting crime in skis? Sure. I've seen him fight crime in ice skates. <laughs> and how well was he fighting crime in ice skates? Oh, man. Stiff. <clears throat> well, that's so funny because the way we did the scoring this week made this whole segment go a lot quicker than it's gone in recent weeks, and now we got fucking so much time left. I know, right? Let's do comics. Let's well, good thing comics. we all read comics. Yeah. The problem with comic books is the ink comes off on your hands. Every time you turn the page, you have to wash your hands. Before we go into that, game four is up. Oh! Coaches. At, uh, at zinc.org slash sports. Uh, and it's the skeleton, which is not a thing I've ever heard it's of before. It's basically luge. It's the luge, it's yeah. It's luge, but feet first, I believe. No, it's head first. Individuals ride head first on a small sled down an icy oh, okay. road. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that chick first, getting first. hit by the broom must have been. Yeah. Uh, the lowest total time over four runs wins. So it's, a, it's a, you're going four times. Uh, which is good. It's an, an ability and uh, potential to uh, improve every time. That's good. So, uh, gotta tell you, not feeling awesome about my chances on this one. <laughs> this would have been a good Iron Man event. <laughs> <laughs> but, and that's what's great is <laughs> I really dig that. Like, guys, been, you know, you can't just keep doing it. This would have been a really good Iron Man event. <laughs> Shit. But yeah, so uh, all coaches, check it out. It's open now. Go to at zinc.org slash sports. Go to the locker room. Get your uh, your guys in for this next event. This is a tough one. Oh, man. I've meddled in all three events. Look at you just crushing it, man. Look at that. Just crushing the Olympic puss. This is a tough one. Hmm. All right, all right, all right, okay, okay, all right. I got, it, I got, it, I got. It. I picked one. Okay, all right. So, uh, comics. Um, man, the um, Power Rangers comic is fucking boring as hell right now. Sure is. Like it's real boring. Um, and it's it's one of those things where like on paper it's a really good concept. I was really excited for it. Like uh, I like the idea of this sort of team of uh, disparate rangers. I like the idea of a uh, a new ranger, like the thing that they could add to the mythos. Like there's a lot on paper to like about this. It's just kind of bland and uninteresting and just not very good. And uh, it appears as if the 
good folks at Boom uh, know this, and they're going to course correct in a big bad way. And yep. they're like, hey guys, and this is over, we're bringing Tommy back! And I'm like, oh shit, Tommy, yeah, I want that. So, so yeah, that's uh, kind of a bummer, because it could have been so much better. And I'm a big fan of uh, Marguerite Savage. Like, I like pretty much everything of hers I've ever read. She, I guess she just... Not a good fit for this. Right. Marguerite Bennett. I'm sorry, Marguerite Bennett. Yeah, it's not a... Yeah, Marguerite Savage is a artist. Yeah. yeah it's not a, not a great fit for this. So, yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Whatever. Um, also, kind of lackluster is this damn... Um, uh, Captain America story. Just... Really, I like it. It's just, they're still making feels... Captain America books after they made him a Nazi, huh? I mean, yeah, it's kind of. I just feel like it's kind of same old shit. Like, it's they're they're talking a lot about that the Nazi story, so I don't like that they're even referencing that fucking thing because that was a real shit show. Um, and you know, it's Captain America, fucking. They think it's a criminal and whatever, and just and I I have a hard time wrapping my head around, you know, even whatever happened with Secret Empire bullshit that the government's like, yeah, you know what, uh, let's let Baron Strucker run a super prison. I think that's a really good idea. Like, and I get you have whole, turned on the news, right? Yeah, and and I get it. I get that. That's that's I know what they're trying to do here because you know. I mean, Norman Osborn was like the leader of Shield. Yeah. Or Hammer. Yeah. Like, th there is precedent for all this. There is. Yeah, I know. And you know the fact that, like, you know the chick that is ahead of the Board of Education in real life, like, you know, thinks books are evil. Like, I, yeah. I get it. Like, there's there, there definitely is precedent in reality too. But I don't know. Just, I don't love it. I do, however, think it looks fucking great. Some oh yeah. Of the, some of the best. Work of uh, Adam Kubert's doing lately. It's fantastic. Good color in the whole. Day. It looks really, really good. Um, and not to be a fucking David Downer, but goddamn, Fantastic Four kind of sucks too. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. It's just bland. It's just like it's like a, you know what it is. It's like a paint by numbers Fantastic Four comic. Yes. Yeah. It's like let's just you know if if you have a checklist of Fantastic Four things, let's make sure we do them all in this story. Cool. Fucking and just the way that he just totally reset all the stuff that they did with Doctor Doom. Like just because he wanted to be Doctor Doom again really fucking bummed me out. It's just not awesome. Um what is great though, West Coast Avengers, that's a quality comic book story. That is a really good good book. Love West Coast Avengers. A lot of fun. Looks great. Um, love all these crazy ass characters, and hey, more fucking vampires. I'm just gonna help for that ties into what they're doing in the Avengers books. They're making a whole lot of connections. Same thing with the Invaders. Invaders is connecting into the uh, Avengers stuff they've been doing too. They're they're doing a really good job of connecting some of the core books in ways they kind of haven't been in recent years. Like it's almost like the guys doing these things are talking to each other, and there's you know editors and. <laughs> A plan. <laughs> <laughs> so I do appreciate that. That's kind of great. I like that. Um, so yeah, Vader's was good. Uh, Detective Comics 999 was awesome. The uh, payoff to the, uh, you know, did you read that one, Kelly? Yeah, I've been so, really enjoying that book. So the 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 for the past, the whole arc has been this crazy monster running around, like terrorizing all the people that you know kind of helped to make Batman Batman. Uh, and kind of the payoff to that was that it's all the an intense simulation that Batman runs himself through an evolving form of the simulation every year on his birthday in an effort to kill him so that he can know that, you know, the sacrifice he's made are worth it because, you know, people need survive because of Batman. It's really beautiful, very well done. Uh, and again, that one, too, looks outstanding. Like, you wouldn't think that Doug Mankey has been, you know, like, he's a guy, he's been drawing comics in the fucking 80s. Like, it just looks outstanding. Like, he's continues to evolve. It's fantastic. A lot of those guys kind of fall into a rut and don't do anything, but whew, Mink is killing it these days. Uh, da -da -da, making Spider-Man was cool, like a prologue to the big, crazy, dumb Craven story coming up. I'm kind of into that. I like the idea of 
Craven had a bunch of clone kids sending him out to the yeah, world. Yeah, that was and cool. One of the clone kids killing all the other clone kids <laughs> and coming home and Craven being like, I'm so proud of you for killing all your clone brothers. That was kind of nuts. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, and then fucking the uh, last one, fucking Daredevil, man. Daredevil's real good. Real good. Um, uh, the, the, the kind of starts with, you know, Daredevil trying to run around seeing who framed him and all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I read that last issue. He killed that guy. <laughs> and it's looking like he killed that guy. <laughs> kind of how he has to deal with that. And, uh, it's, it's it's solid, man. Really well done. Um, and the way it looks, man. I've been a big uh, Mark Ruggiero fan for a very long time. And I really liked um, the stuff he did on Daredevil uh, during uh, Mark Wade's run. Very, very good. But it's he's doing a thing with his style that is very man without fear. So it's got so it's definitely still uh Chetto, but there's like like a like a hint of vintage Donny Ramita Jr. in there in a way that's really, really cool. Uh because you know that was back when like Ramita was trying. So that, that I like that a lot. It's a big deal. But it just looks great. Uh, I like this new some of the new characters and just how his world is kind of unraveling, and like you know, his, his fucking friends are all like, "Hey, did you, did you Matt kill the dude?" <laughs> it's kind of, kind of fucking nuts, right? But also, like, of course, it killed the dude. Like, I played Spider-Man on PlayStation. He killed a bunch of those guys. <laughs> At the very least, they're never walking again. <laughs> so it's amazing it doesn't happen more often. Like, I do like the the one guy, the one uh, ER doc was like, <laughs> "I've worked on a lot of guys. You beat the shit out of over the past." A few years, and you know what, man? You could have been a doctor. <laughs> that was kind of great. So, yeah, that's a. Uh, it was very uh, hit or miss week, but it's something the the good was really good. What you got, Kelly? Uh, not much for comics wise, at least. Uh, yeah, you mentioned most of it that was worth talking about. Uh, Superior Spider Man is still really good. I like that a lot. Yeah, Doc Ock fighting uh, Terax is a lot of fun. And I like that they uh, tied up with a bunch of fucking the 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 also ran graveyards, what the fuck they're called. Those shitty horror villains are great. Oh, I love those guys. It's the dumb, the graveyard shift. There go. Yeah, fucking dummies. They're so good. Uh, yeah. Action Comics continues to be really good. You know what? Yeah, yeah. And I was kind of amazed in the. Uh, like the previews that came out, the solicit text for an upcoming uh, Action Comics Leviathan Strikes special they're doing uh, announced two new books DC is doing that I had no idea about until uh, I'm pretty sure they might have announced them here. Uh, there's going to be a new Jimmy Olsen ongoing written by Matt Fraction and what? a new Lois Lane ongoing written by Greg Rocca. What? So uh, Bendis is just bringing his friends on over to DC. <laughs> Straight up bringing his buddies over. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. So uh, those are both going to rule. That's crazy. Yeah. Rucker kind of gum bring the ruckus. I'm like, fuck Jimmy Olsen. Then you're like Matt Fraction. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Like, that's going to be awesome. That's crazy. Yeah. All right. I'm into that. Yeah. Right um... on. The only downside of Leviathan War is I feel like it's probably going to end up contradicting some of the stuff that's going on inside and um, Silencer right now. Because that book, no one really gives a shit about, but it's really good. All right. Like, of those new books that DC made, like that New Age of Heroes or whatever, Silencer by far is the best one. Like, it's just a cool... DC Universe bullshit assassin book. I was uh, surprised when she showed up in... She's an Arrow this season. Really? Yeah. That's cool. That's kind of nuts. Yeah, because I, I really like that character. That's rad. Awesome. Uh, and then, yeah, not much outside of comics. Um, I watched uh, GCW as they said it couldn't be done. <laughs> that, 
that happened while we were in uh, New York. And man, there were some sick ass death matches in that show. <laughs> uh, at one point, so the uh, it was a triple threat death match. Uh, one dude was sitting in the corner. Another guy puts a pane of glass with cut in half uh, soda cans. Oh God! Uh, and then slams another guy into the pane of glass. And as soon as the pin gets counted, the dude who is sitting in the corner just takes off running to the back because he got his arm slashed open really deep. Well, that's a really dumb thing to do. Jesus. <laughs> there was another match later in the show between... Uh, G Raver and Nice Cosplay Matt Traynor. <laughs> you love G Raver. <laughs> G Raver's actually gotten pretty good. Oh, uh, I like that dude. Uh, at one point, they both. Uh, so G Raver, outside of wrestling, is a tattoo artist. So he has a penchant to take tattoo needles and then tap them into his opponent's foreheads. Oh, God. Nice. And so Tremont one, loves point, that. He and uh, Tremont both have, like, small grouping, like, small bundles of uh, tattoo needles in their heads and are then whacking each other over the head with chairs. Tremont <sighs> can't even feel that because that's all scar tissue up there. Oh, no, yeah. no. It's dead. Yeah. Like, beyond and, dead. And then the main event was pretty wild, too, uh, with Jun Kasai coming back to the U.S. to take on Alex Cologne and... Those dudes, they tried to kill each other, and goddamn, does Jun Kasai just love every second of it. Just biggest smile on his face. Loves doing this shit. That guy has the most scarred up back I've ever seen, and has been doing this for 20 years, and doesn't with, look like he's slowing down anytime soon. With no context, uh, your tweets, Kelly, just so you know, with no context, I feel like your tweets are going to get you put on an FBI watch list. <laughs> Probably. Because I barely know what you're talking about sometimes, and I'm like, these are scary words in this order. <laughs> <laughs> One of these uh, actual fantasy sports seasons, we should do a uh, tournament of death. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Fuck yes. He says, I've been waiting. And then GCW did two shows Saturday night in a row in L.A.? Or was that yeah. Friday? Uh, what, I want to say one was Friday, one was Saturday. I could be wrong. Or I think they, they were back the to night? back on the same night. Oh, jeez. Goddamn. Yeah, they did their uh, Live and Die in L.A. with Nick Gage. And then, Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F fucking... That Pretty pretty bummed about Luke Perry, you guys. Yeah, that sucks. AKA Jungle Boy's dad. Yep. Yep. AKA fucking uh, Archie's dad too. Yeah, Fred like, An Fred Andrews. He he was working, man. He yes. was. He was having quite the the second act. I mean, they were gonna they're gonna bring back nine hundred two one zero with the original cast. What? Right. Yeah, I like, did not that realize just that. got announced. I remember seeing his dick on Oz. Nice. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Was it uh, good? It was decent. It's uh, he, yeah. He's not gonna show up and show a fucking dinker. Right, but like, <laughs> like he's for like, nah, let's go full hog, for, full hog, but soft style walking through a prison. Well, pre yeah, pretty decent for a white boy. You can't come showing up hard. No. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> like Oz ain't. They weren't pushing those boundaries yet. Uh, it has made me want to go back and watch the Christy Swanson Buffy the Vampire Slayer with Luke Perry in it because that movie's great. It really is. Terrible, but great. Love it. What else you got, Nice? Anything we're talking about? Uh, not much besides you wouldn't think it by looking at it, but Letter Kenny has a real confusing continuity. <laughs> Go on from episode to episode. We've talked about these, these uh, the holiday episodes that they do. Yeah, which... they don't really count. Okay, so they don't count. 
I mean, they count, but like they don't, but not in the order in which they appear on Hulu. Well, I mean, it's still technically this Valentine's episode that they just released on Hulu aired after this full season aired. So I sure. assume that it carries on the storyline, but I don't think it does. And I think. It, it From what I can tell, they've all been pretty standalone. Okay, it just takes it takes me a second to kind of be like, "What? So what the fuck's going on? How far along are you?" Uh, I haven't seen anything else since the last time I did. So Come on, I, the go. last one I watched was uh, "Hard Right Jay" was the last one. Good one. That was a pretty good one. Just watching this. <laughs> he shows up and he hasn't packed a bag. All he has, he pulls up in his trunk, is this shitty tiki torch. <laughs> good bit yeah. solid bit yeah, no I will once uh, never mind <laughs> never mind oh never mind. oh nothing never mind I was gonna tell a music anecdote about Jay Baruchel but decided against it <laughs> 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 never mind uh, <sighs> god <laughs> anything else no, 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 not for me. Talk to me, Jose. What's happening? Uh, another R.I.P. Keith Flint, lead singer, Prodigy. Yeah. Parent. No shit. When did that happen? Like, that same day. Uh, yeah. Same day. It was like yeah. Keith Flint, Luke Perry, King Kong Bundy. All Damn. in 24 hours. Oh, that fucking Enzo tweet. That tweet's amazing. Oh, my God. Enzo... For those that didn't see it, Enzo Amore, former WWE superstar, tweeted out about King Kong Bundy, how, you know, his grandparents used to take him to see the fights back when he was a kid. And he loved seeing King Kong Bundy. R.I.P. King Kong Bundy. I'll always remember you as the guy with the green green tongue, green tongue that ate the turnbuckle. And everybody's like, dude, <laughs> that is George the Animal Steel. Fuck, Enzo. Did you watch any wrestling? Now, did he not know that, or is he just leaning way hard into being like a real life? See, dude? I'm not sure. It's a real toss up. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I mean, either way, he's wow. a big fucking dummy. Oh, oh he's definitely God. a big fucking dummy. Mary was almost going to get an Enzo shirt at one point. Oh, no. She loved that uh, fucking cup of haters. <laughs> she loved the cup of haters shirt, but thank God. Not great. You would have had to say, Mary, your closet is problematic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Let's, uh. If I can land this bird, man. Yeah. Let's roll, yeah. It? yeah, let's do it. Call it an early night. Um, check out uh, Scene Spark, man. Look up God Country. Drop my brother a few bones and yeah. make his picture. Some... Uh, there's some location scouting. Find a really cool spot. Uh, yeah, she looks really cool. Man, it's a really cool spot. Like the, There's a sequence that takes place in the motel, and we're looking for a lobby. And it's like so... Just don't change anything. This is the this is the place. <laughs> this is definitely it. I'm like holy shit, it's perfect. Uh, some big announcements coming up about that too. So if, uh, nice. If you're interested about that, please by all means check it out. Drop a, a couple of bones. Uh, really looking forward to it. It'll be a good time. And I also want to put this out there in regards to our our tenth anniversary, which uh, is eleven minutes. Will have been. Ten years, pops. Oh, running. that's right. We're ten, y'all. March, Jeez. March sixth, two thousand nine. Yep, we uh, released on the same day that the Watchmen movie came out. Yep, one of our first piece, uh, first bits of content was a uh, all of our individual uh, Watchmen takes. Yep, was the first bit. Just a bunch of white dudes talking about Watchmen. <laughs> uh, <too white. laughs> so I wanted to put this out there. I don't know if will get a good response for it at all, but I would love to do an episode of the podcast coming up shortly where we do an Ask Me Anything. So over the past 10 years of pop, 
if you want if, if you want to know the behind the scenes on something let's let's see what you got yeah. ask us anything we'll answer anything. we'll fucking we'll fucking say whatever man well goddamn name names <laughs> <laughs> yeah fucking john mitchell <laughs> jeez fuck that guy and then i definitely want to start bringing on some guests as as we move along into the year some some old classics some greatest hits yeah i keep wanting to say jim mitchell but that's just the sinister minister <laughs> <laughs> he's rad i love him i i've been wanting to get john michael back on the show because i don't know if you guys have noticed this but remember john michael didn't like yeah. any of the dceu movies like each it got to the point where we did the fanboy Thunderdome between him and Bobby over Suicide Squad, and it was just like John Michael, maybe you don't need to see any more of these movies. Like he's had very bad opinions about all of them. This motherfucker loves Aquaman and has seen it like half a dozen times. It's absolutely insane, and I'm I'm so interested in picking his brain about that. So yeah, John Michael's a good one. Um, I'm. I mean, I'm fucking streaming at Carabac on for a minute. Oh, a minute. yeah, absolutely. absolutely. What shot. other movies should have, have him defend tits that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last time we spoke. What else would you like to add tits to? Oh, my God. No Ka- thing. Kerouac, I've, I hope, I feel and I hope, has mellowed in this climate. <laughs> I think you would have had to. <laughs> By law? Yeah. <laughs> also, like you know, like all of us, there's no way he means everything he says. Sure, 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 sure. Just like Kelly, Kelly I loves mean everything Mitchell. I say. <laughs> <laughs> Every single thing. Uh, awesome. So yeah, um, John Mitchell, meet me in the fucking <laughs> parking lot. <laughs> we got your seat on the party bus, buddy. Uh, you know, I I just remembered like a few, a couple days ago, how back when I had a an award winning college radio show. Ah, uh, Greg and Greg, Greg and Kelly. Yeah, Greg and I would challenge other DJs to fights in the parking lot <laughs> regularly. <laughs> regularly, they gave us an award for that shit. We were DJs of the year. Our names are on a plaque somewhere. <laughs> well, I once. There was a bunch of teacher layoffs, and I went heel and said, good. I'm <laughs> glad they got fired. <laughs> because oh, I, ma- I made a heel turn, so I was saying the, what the administration had done was best for business. And also, I really didn't like one of those teachers, so <laughs> I was glad they got fired. Uh, no lie, uh, Kelly, did you see that Triple H promo on Raw? No. It was pretty good. Was it? Pretty good. They're starting a program between Batista and Triple H. Batista's back. He oh, just, Big Dave. He beat the fuck out of Ric Flair at his 70th yeah, birthday that. party. Yeah, I saw that. was awesome. Just to get Triple H's attention, and this promo on Raw was Triple H saying, Hey, was he good? Was hey, he good? Dave. Hey, Dave. This is this is the man. This isn't the character talking. This is the man. <laughs> it was good. It was good. He was talking about Richard Fleer. <laughs> It was some of the best Triple H we've seen in a while. All right. It was actually how, a decent how is, Raw. Uh, uh, we how is Bautista? Uh, looking fucking mean as hell. He's got a blue nose ring. Looking like somebody fired his director, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he is definitely cha- channeling <laughs> a lot of that. He's picturing there. Uh, every time he punches somebody, he's visual- visualizing Disney. Yeah. Yep. Hundred wow. percent, beating the shadow, Mickey Mouse. Yes, yeah, so we got that coming up. Um, there's gonna be some uh, some updates coming to the site, the main site. Maybe some extra channels and content and whatnot. Like I said, uh, by any means, if you if you have any uh, suggestions, they might shit you might like to see. You know, we're good at stuff, so let us know what's up. We'll yeah. see if uh, we can maybe make something happen. Be good. We, we, we might be twitching soon. Who knows? Yeah. Why? Oh, also, if anybody knows how to use Twitch, let us know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We've got a step-by-step instructional video. That'd be awesome. Maybe, uh, maybe on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. 
if you can teach us how to Twitch on YouTube, that'd be great. Let's know what's up. And not uh, like you have to know how Twitch works, not just at mention Twitch streamers on Twitter. Yeah. So yeah. But um Yeah, that's about it, right? That's all the big all the hits right now. Yeah. That's all good. the hits they do. Yeah. Yeah, big big stuff. Lots of plans. So it'll, it'll be good. Ask us anything. Anything. Oh, you know what we didn't fucking talk about, Lee? What's that? Beast morphers. Fucking beast morphers was pretty legit. It was really good. Yeah. New Power Rangers debuted last week on the Nickelodeons, and you know what? Fucking solid. Yeah, I greatly enjoyed it. It's so Did funny that- looking through the Toy Fair footage, and we get to the Hasbro place. And at the beginning, everybody's shots are nice and slow, nice and chill. And towards the end, <laughs> towards Power Rangers, it's like, ah, ah, what's this? Ah, 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 ah. Well, I felt like by the time we got to the end, they were kind of, I felt a little bit rushed. Well, to get it was, the fuck it out was definitely there. crowded. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, fucking nerds. Let's <laughs> go, you dipshit influencers. Get out of here. Listen, Johnny YouTube. <laughs> yeah, 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 I did notice. Um, Mommy and Gracie in the in the crowd at uh, Lego. Both? No, I just mommy. Notice mommy. Just mommy. Yeah. Mommy, Gracie's like I got shit to do today. Mommy of mommy and Gracie. Yeah, I feel like you call yourself mommy and your kid's not around. You're a fucking weirdo. Well, you, uh, I mean, you, you look through all the interviews yet? No, 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 no. I'm still. I'm just finishing up Sunday, oh, so okay. I still got a couple yeah. more days to go. Oh, yeah. cool. Like, not for nothing, but I'm only daddy when my kid's around. <laughs> I can't be introducing myself to daddy in a room full of adults. That's fucking creepy, lady. Sorry. Why do you ask, Jose? Uh, I'm just asking. <laughs> you want me to play Johnny UK again? UK Joe? No names. No names. <laughs> uh, God. I did delete that out of the download for last week's show, by the way. That's Smart funny. Smart move. <laughs> The whole thing, or like just the no, nah, just the just the name part. I figure only like at at best sixty seventy people watch it on YouTube. The most views we get is, uh, you know, the Spotify and whatever. Yeah, yeah a lot, a lot, yeah, a lot more of the download. So yeah, and hey, maybe that'll change. We fucking up the uh, video content as well on the YouTube. Who's who's to say? Who's to say? Yeah, Locking we might out. have to go to Vimeo. I don't know. Hey, who's yeah? No, fucking oh, man. We have Vimeo. You want a court? I you watch court um, some fucking nerd? I watch Botchamania on v- Vimeo. Remember when Vimeo was a joke? Well, I mean, it kind of still is, but it's also like the thing for filmmakers. Like, ah, uh, yes, check out my Vimeo reel. So, yeah. Get your shit on RuTube. I'll take you serious. <laughs> 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 All right. So that's what we're going to call it. Email us. Popcast at panelsonpages.com or leave us a voicemail 616 951 one pop. Get your shit in for the Ooh, excuse me, next event. Um hit us up with them AMA questions yeah. or Yeah. If oh, uh if we get a good response, we can fucking bust it out now or we can wait until we got a few few on backlog. Busted, yep. busted, busted, busted. Also, big ups to Jose for sending that belt. God bless you. Hey, Buster, make me feel good. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Uh, and we'll be back next week at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central at uh, YouTube.com slash Panels on Pages. At least for now. We'll see what happens in the future. Yeah. So, for Jason Nyes, Jose Guzman, and Kelly Harris, I'm the Lord Reverend Lee Rodriguez. We'll talk to you fools next week. Night. Love you. Bye. <laughs>
Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you.